Hello Cancer, welcome to your June 2019 General Psychic Horoscope Reading. Cancer, oh my lovely moon children, how are you doing? We're going to dive right here into the tarot, see what psychic messages are coming up for you. I'm going to shuffle five times here. Um, before we get started on the messages coming up for you though, if you haven't yet, Cancer, please hit the subscribe button here on my channel. Stay up to date on the videos that come through and even the article links uh, and articles that I have being published. So subscribe, stay on cue there. Also, Cancer, a couple more little announcements here. I have a 15% off coupon code now for all of you lovely, loyal subscribers. And so you can use that 15% off code um, in my Etsy shop to get a personal reading for yourself. All that lovely jazz. Also, I'm giving away two free starlight meditation rituals this month. So get that free gift. All of that information is below in the descriptions box. So take a look, Cancer. Hop on it. And yeah, that's about it. So let's dive into your message here. So Cancer... Astrologically, this is affecting this place in your chart in June, in Gemini season here, that has to do with secrets, sorrows, any pains, any past karma. Also, it's a place in your chart that has to do with spirituality. And I'm feeling like some of this has to do with, all right, I feel like the cards are done here. This, some of this has to do with spiritual, how you spiritually block yourself, how you mentally, emotionally maybe block yourself, Cancer, where you need to heal from in that area, where you might be self undoing yourself, getting, you know, getting in your own way through, you know, bad habits, through um, perhaps not intentionally, you know, unintentionally choosing bad relationships for you, that kind of thing, okay? That kind of thing can really pop up with this energy. And I'm seeing a lot of that in the cards here already. Okay, so everything has popped out here. The good news, Cancer, is that a lot of these lessons and things that are coming up in this regard here for you, they won't last all month because we move into cancer season, year season cancer. So for all of you cancers that have a birthday in June, at the end of June, happy birthday. Thanks for joining. But um, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths here, cancer. Take a couple deep breaths with me and allow yourself to center to put your mind frame in a state of receiving this message, all right? I'm gonna look at the cards here. Okay, Cancer, there's a couple of things coming to the forefront right now. So at the very center of your reading, we have the Five of Cups. You know, this is a heavy place in your chart. Gemini season can be a little intense, a little heavy for you. There's a feeling of loss here. And some of you might be feeling like you're losing, you're failing at something. Perhaps you are losing something. Losing a little bit in finances, losing a little bit of money maybe. We have the Four of Pentacles showing right underneath the Five of Cups here. So Cancer, I am hearing just be a little wary, be cautious of your finances, try to hold back, save a little bit more money during this time, especially at the beginning of the month. We have the new moon in Gemini happening on the third of the month. Okay, watch out for that time frame. That's, you know, it's a dark moon, so, you know, just be cautious. Some of this energy can really show up strong around that time. So just 
I'm, yeah, I'm hearing just pinch back your pennies, your dimes, your dollars a little bit, especially in the first two weeks of the month. Some of you may be a little disappointed with the results of some investment you were hoping that would pay off perhaps a job situation. You also have the Three of Pentacles sitting underneath here at the bottom of your reading. I'm doing a full Celtic cross spread, by the way, Cancer, so we're getting a lot of details today. So, <sighs> work, work. And it's like, it's like I'm getting the feeling here, a lot of you Cancer feel like you put in a lot of effort, a lot of show in your work. You know, you've showed a lot of your effort and skill and craft to people, to those in power, to those who might be able to promote you. And it just feels like there's a lack of promotion going on here, or just a lack of movement in being promoted and moving up to the next level, Cancer. But fear, you know, fear not because that does change this month. I'll tell you that right off the bat here, Cancer. That shifts, especially after the first two weeks, okay? So just bear this in mind. You're gonna, a lot of you Cancers will be writing out some kind of loss, some kind of difficulty or disappointment in the first two weeks. You know, so just understand that. Now, you have the Ace of Cups showing up here in the recent past, so, A lot of intuitive information coming through. You know, being in the spiritual house, being in the 12th house for you this month, Cancer, especially for your Cancer Risings, you're getting a lot of spiritual insight. You know, where, like I said at the beginning, where you might be blocking yourself, where you might be creating disappointments for yourself, and very much, in a lot of ways, Cancer, unintentionally. We all do this. We all do this, where it's like, you have to break out of some habits, you know, out of some mind frames. Perhaps some of you Cancers have been stuck in this mind frame of lack, of constant disappointment and struggle that the world, that people around you, that your job around you are going to constantly disappoint you. And you're getting some insight into that with the Ace of Cups there. So that's the beauty of, you know, this area right before we get into your season is that you're, you're receiving a lot of emotional intelligence are the words I'm hearing and healing because of this. Some healing to some of those wounds, some of those losses that you have felt disappointments. And you know, it's beautiful, right at the top here, you have the Two of Cups, okay? So this, this is a nice little involvement here. There's a partner, a soulmate, close relationship here for you, Cancer, that is really showing supportive. It's really helping guide you and nurture you through some of this heavy process, especially in the first two weeks. So you have full permission, you know, you can rely on this person who you feel very connected to. Some of you, this could be a relationship evolving into something more serious, more romantic, I'm hearing. And so this is really nice to see. It's really nice to see this kind of support for you, especially at the beginning of the month. I'm also getting here that this has to do with creating more balance within your own emotional state. You know, bringing in that healing, that balance, Cancer. Boom, boom, boom. Between your impulsive masculine side and your maybe overly receptive feminine side. Balancing the receptive and impulsively acting side of yourself, okay? Some of that wanting to balance out within you. 
Now up next you have the Knight of Swords here. And this is showing in your near future, okay? There's an intense needed release showing up here with this card I'm getting. Okay, a lot of, I'm getting a lot of Cancer, a lot of emotional turbulence here for you that is wanting to release. Nines are always about release. That is the beauty of it. But it can feel a little overwhelming, especially when we have the Sagittarius full moon on the 17th, the 17th of this month. Watch out for that time because that is when this is going to feel almost overly burdening. You know, it's going to be kind of hanging over you a little bit. It may feel a little bit like it's hanging over you like a nightmare. But you're being asked here, Cancer, to face these, these fears, these worries, these disappointments that are creeping up, that are consuming your thoughts and your feelings and to address them, to speak to them, to speak them out of your mind, to call them out of your life, rid yourself of it. That is the awesome thing about that. And it's amazing because up next you have the Ten of Swords. This is complete detox I'm hearing for you, Cancer. Complete detox and release. Cutting out the baggage, cutting out the habits that don't work for you, changing some plans up here. You know, releasing some old plans, perhaps, you had for yourself. I'm hearing that Cancer, perhaps some other people, your co-workers, your friends, told you that you needed to do, stuff you needed to plan, things that would be in your best interest. But this month, ooh, I'm getting this powerfully. I'm getting goosebumps, Cancer. This month, it is about you listening to your own inner voice, your own inner dialogue, Cancer. You're being asked to release what everyone else is telling you is best for you. Mm -hmm. You're being asked to reflect inward. What do you need from you? What do you desire for you, Cancer? What is going to bring you the most joy, the most peace, hermit? Okay, this is also in the position of others around you. So there could be a Virgo specifically showing up here to help you out, Cancer. A Virgo to help ground you and give you some spiritual insight this month. An older figure too showing up as male here. So pay attention to whatever wisdom they have. And you are being really encouraged, Cancer, to take it easy this month. Don't overly exert yourself. Don't try, try to avoid being overly active. Cancer, try to give yourself a bit more rest time, especially with this showing up in this position. Give yourself more rest time. Go get a massage. Go have a Reiki session. Perhaps a tarot or therapy session. More walks in nature, salt baths, whatever works for you in helping relax. You have the Three of Wands showing up next. Your area of hopes and fears. Okay, so to me, this card is speaking of faith, Cancer. You know, he's just simply watching the ships sail and carry precious cargo and trusting that they will make it to the destination, to their destination that they're going for, that they're going to. So, Cancer, it will be in your best interest to exercise this. Trust the destination that the universe is carrying you towards.
Yeah, because there's a more expansive vision here for you this month. Like your vision, your spirituality is wanting to grow and expand. And you have to rid yourself of some of the unwanted stuff so that you can see and learn from the growth, from the expansion. And make room. Make room for the new relationships. The lovers, the new relationships, partnerships that are wanting to come in. You know, if you're holding on to like an ex, a negative job situation, a negative um, client perhaps that pays you well but is really negative and awful towards you, whatever it is here, Cancer, the new and beautiful relationship, partnership that wants to evolve for you here, it will stay blocked. It won't evolve if you don't release it. The old, if you don't release the old. The old negative crap. Okay, because the lovers, the lovers is showing up for you when you get in your season here. At the end of the month, whoo, it looks, mm, looks peaked. Re your relationship life, romantic Affairs and flings look fabulous towards the end of the month there, Cancer. That's exciting. And it's like things really balance out. It's, it's amazing. You have the two predominant relationship cards here showing up. So you have someone developing here for you. For those of you who are partnered and your partnership is sound, it is positive, this could be more of a business partnership coming in for you, but it could also mean more balance, more harmony, more rom romantic and sensual fun developing for you. And I'm going to go ahead and get you one clarity card with the lovers here. Just so we get some final details. I do feel like a lot of the sorrow, spiritual adjustments that you're being called to make and become more aware of have to do with relationships. And, you know, maybe some past sexual, sexual partners for you. And I love that you have, you know, you have this Virgo energy showing up pretty strong here that is wanting to come in and help you out. It's giving you, they're giving you some clarity, some wisdom, helping you see things straight, Cancer. I'm just going to let this card fall out. Let it just develop, shoot out on its own. Definitely something is ending for a lot of you Cancers. I will just kind of make clear here too. Something that's really ending about you though. It's like you're really wanting to change your style even change what you're willing to settle for is what I'm getting here, Cancer. Uh, you know, I'm hearing and seeing through the cards here that you're saying no more settling like I did in the past. You're like, I've grown beyond that now. I've grown beyond that relationship. I've gone, grown beyond that negative job situation, that negative friend or social scene that I was hanging out. It's time. It's time for a change. It's time to move on from that. We got a mess. 
<laughs> we got a mess. Okay, I, I feel like that was just me being a klutz. So I'm gonna shuffle a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just draw this card for you. I feel like that's what I'm being called to do. Okay, here we go. Drawing. All right. Ace of Pentacles. I love this. Okay. Ace of Pentacles with this. Hey, hey, hey. Mm. Upping your value in relationships. Upping your standards. Also, for some of you Cancers, there might be this relationship coming in that offers you more money. Perhaps the other person has more funds, makes good money. Or if this is a business partnership, an opportunity that is evolving. More money comes with it. Beautiful. And it really has to do with value. Truly valuing. Putting more value on relationships, on love. Is what I'm hearing with this too. Mm. Yep, once we get into cancer season, your season, man, man, man. It looks like it starts to get lit up in the most positive way. That's very exciting. Well, Cancer, this concludes your June reading. So, Cancer, take it easy this Gemini season. Let me know in the comments below also how this is resonating and tran uh, you know, transpiring for you. So let me know, and don't forget your free gift and uh, coupon code, which is below in the descriptions box. So Cancer, ta-ta for now. I'll see you in the next video.